Well, this is not a normal voice agent. It is a WhatsApp voice agent. And you can build this for your own business by watching this entire video. We'll be building this entire thing without using any code. We'll be using Twilio, WhatsApp, Anitin, as well as Wapi to build this entire voice agent for your own business. But first, let's say a quick demo. Hey there, how's it going? I'm Alex from Small Group, and I'm excited to chat with you today. Hey, what's your name? My name is Alex. What type of business do you run in it? I'm looking for SEO blog writer automation. I understand. You're looking for SEO blog writer automation. What are some of the biggest challenges you're facing with that? Well, this is one voice agent that we've built. Well, there are of course a few benefits of what's a voice agent and they are in three folds. First is contacting leads overseas without any hassle. So when you have a WhatsApp voice agent, they can easily contact any lead in any country without any hassle. Second is what's voice agent as well as chatbot in a single platform. Now, if you have WhatsApp, you can have the WhatsApp voice agent and you can have the WhatsApp chatbot all in a single platform. So your lead can directly contact you either by voice or by chatbot and everything will be replied using an AI and everything entire thing will be on a single dashboard. That's how easy it is to contact any lead now. Third is no spam marking. So when you do a normal call, your, your number may get spam marked, but when you do a WhatsApp call, there is no spam marking for those numbers. So these are the three major benefits of using a WhatsApp voice agent for your business. Now let's understand what we'll be covering in this entire video. Well, this entire video will be covering how we can build this entire voice agent. And these are the step-by-step -step procedures. So of course, for Twilio, we have a four step process. First, we'll have to create a Twilio account. Then we'll have to buy a number and then we'll have to create a sender. So creating a WhatsApp sender and then creating a two ML app. Now this entire process will take almost two or three minutes and we'll show you everything in the video itself. Next step is going to be on WhatsApp. So you need to have a WhatsApp meta business account so that you can create a WhatsApp API, which is going to be very simple, but let's see in our video as well. So for WhatsApp, we'll be having three steps. First is verifying meta business account. Second is connecting a Twilio number. And third is activating the call for the WhatsApp API. Third step is going to be Anitin. So on Anitin will be doing a very small workflow that will simply connect a Twilio to a voice agent. So it's going to be a two node process. So we'll be having a webhook to fetch content on call. And second is going to be a webhook that will be passing it on to a WhatsApp voice agent. Next, we'll need a voice agent so you can use WAPI, 11 Labs, Retail AI, any other platform that you like. And you can create a voice agent and, and we can connect it to your WhatsApp voice agent. You just have to watch this entire video for it. Well, hey everybody, I am Prakash Gupta from Small AI and we help business deploy crazy AI automations that can automate their entire business. If you're someone who's looking to automate any process in your business, feel free to book a call with me using the link in the description. And me and my team can help you develop an AI automation that can put your entire business on autopilot. So if you're looking to integrate AI into your business, we are the right call. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you never miss out a video on AI automations in the future. Let's get building. All right, so let's start with setting up a Twilio account. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on new tab and I'm going to go to Twilio. As soon as I do it, I'm just going to click on first link and I'm going to click on login. Just create a new account and you'll be logged in. There. So I have my account already set up. I'm just going to click on this Twilio account. Perfect. So we are in our Twilio account now. I'm just going to click on phone numbers and I'm going to click on manage. As soon as I do that, I have an option to see active numbers. So you can see that I have already purchased a number here. And, uh, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to click on buy a number. Perfect. So of course there are a few options. Now make sure you choose the country of your origin. So I've chosen United States. You can also choose the capabilities. So it should have voice and SMS capability for basic version. But if you're looking for some advanced Twilio number, you can also go for MMS and fax. Now I'm just going to click on search and you can see that we already have a few list of numbers that I can, that are ready to purchase. So I'm just going to click on the first number right here. Since we only need a WhatsApp voice agent, I don't need to do much, but if you're also looking to integrate SMS, just make sure that you do this A to P registration. Perfect. Now I'm just going to click on buy this number. 
right now i already have a number for my business so i'm not going to buy one but you can click on the buy number and it will be a new number for you as soon as you do that now you have to go to messaging section right here and just click on senders and i'll click on whatsapp senders perfect so you see that we already have a whatsapp number which whose status is active so for you this entire page will be empty but let's click on create new sender i'm just gonna select out my whatsapp number that we've selected and i'm gonna click on continue as soon as i do that you can see that there's an option to connect with facebook i'm just gonna click on that and i'm going to log in to my facebook account now you can see that it is asking me to fill in my business information. Now, if you already have a meta business account, you can find a business portfolio right here. But if you don't, you can, you can just click on create a business portfolio. Just enter your business name, your website, make sure that the website is active, your country, and just click on next. You can follow the entire steps. When you go over verify number, make sure you verify using an SMS OTP. So that SMS OTP will be coming right here. I can just copy the number and paste it in the verification center. Perfect. Now I'm going to close this up. As soon as you do that, your number will be active and your sender, your WhatsApp sender will be created. So when you next, when you click on WhatsApp senders, this entire list will be there for yourself as well. I'm just going to click on edit sender right here. And you can see that there are a few web hook URLs that are already there. Although we do, it does not matter to us right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on voice endpoint configurations and I'm going to connect to a terminal application. So you can see that we already have two terminal applications, but for now let's create a new terminal application. It's a very simple process. So creating a terminal application will take you to another page. And here you just need to click on create new terminal app. Now let's just name it WhatsApp no code new. And here you just have to enter a voice configuration request URL. Now to get this URL, what you need to do is you need to go to Anytime and you need to create a new workflow. In this new workflow, just add a webhook. As soon as you do that, just copy this webhook and of course change it to post method. I'm going to copy this webhook URL. And I'm going to paste it in our terminal application. I'm going to click on create. As soon as I do that, you can see that a new terminal application has been created. And this is the webhook URL that we have added already. Perfect. Now I'm going to go back and go to WhatsApp senders. And I'm going to select the center that we have already created. And here, I'm going to select the new TML application that we just created right now. And I'm just going to click on update WhatsApp centers. Now we have created a Twilio account. We have bought a number. We have created a WhatsApp center and we have also created a terminal application. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next step. The next step is going to be verifying meta business account. Now, of course, in the process, we have already created a meta business profile. Now you need to go to your WhatsApp manager. When you go to WhatsApp manager, you will find that there is no number added. So you have to add your own number right here. This number is going to be the same number as your WhatsApp as the Twilio number that we have purchased. And uh, you need to make sure that this entire, that this entire number is also verified. So you can see that my current year is 1000 business messages per 24 hours. And this is required to activate the next step. So make sure that you are at this current state before you move forward. Perfect. Now we have meta business account and now we have also connected our Twilio number. But if you've recently added your number, you won't find a calling option in the WhatsApp account. So what you need to do is you need to first reach out to this level that you have to, you have to verify your account to go to 1000 messages per 24 hours. And then you have to click on this call section. When you do that, you have to enable allow voice calls. Now, when you have done that, it will be reflected in a few minutes. For my case, it took me almost five to 10 minutes. So after five to 10 minutes, your WhatsApp account will have that call icon. Now that you've done that, your Twilio as well as your WhatsApp number is interconnected. So this particular part is done for us. Now we have already done the first step of Anytime. 
of course now let's do our second step that is going to be passed on to our wapi webhook so for that what i'm going to do is i already have a webhook i'm just going to click on plus icon and i'm going to add a respond to webhook node i'm going to change the setting for respond with to text and i will add a particular piece of code right here to find that code what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on twilio help center and i'm going to click on the first link Perfect. So I'm just going to copy this entire code right here and I'm going to paste it into our edit and respond to webhook. Now make sure that this particular code requires the SIP URI, which we're going to find out right now. So now we have added a webhook and we have a webhook that will pass on to Webby, WAPI webhook as well. But before we move forward, let's do one thing. Let's test out our webhook. So for that, just click on execute workflow. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call my WhatsApp number right here. Now, as soon as I've called that number, you can see that Aniton automation got triggered. So we are able to get a response as soon as we call that number. So that's one task. Make sure that you have reached this particular stage before you move forward. Perfect. So I'm just going to connect it to respond to webhook. So for WAPI, there is a particular condition that the SIP URI is going to be your phone number. That is again from get the active numbers. I'm just going to copy this number and I'm going to add it right here. Uh, just remove any empty spaces. And after at the rate, just have to write dot copy dot get. Perfect. So I've added the SIP URI that is my number at the rate SIP dot copy dot AI. Perfect. So next step is going to be now we have done this, we have done this and we have also done this. Now we move on to creating a plain simple vanilla voice agent over WAPI. So I'm going to go to WAPI dashboard and you can see that I've already created an assistant, but for testing purpose, I can create a new assistant right here. I'm just going to go for info collector. Just click on this agent. And we have a voice agent right here, pretty active. You can change the prompt route according to your own business. But for now, I'm just going to play around with this one only. Perfect. So now we have a voice agent right here and I'm just going to click on phone numbers. Now in the phone number section, you can see that we have, we don't have that number that we purchased from Twilio. So I'm just going to click on create phone number and I'm going to go to import from Twilio. Now in this import from Twilio, you need to enter the phone number. So I'm just going to copy paste that same number. And then we need to get our Twilio account SID. So you'll find that when you go over to. So you'll find the account SID when you have, when you go to your account dashboard and you can just copy this account SID. I'm just going to copy this SID for now and I'm going to add it to Wapi. Next is going to be adding Twilio auth token so that you'll find on the account dashboard only. Just going to copy this and paste it right here. And I can just add the label to be WhatsApp voice agent. Perfect. I'm just going to click on import from Twilio and well, the number has been added right here. Perfect. So we have the number ready. So I'm just going to go to back to whiteboard. Now what we've done here is we have created a new WAPI voice agent and we have connected it to our Twilio phone number. So the entire setup is done. Now the only thing remaining is of course fixing up this is a spawn to webhook. So there's one thing that you need to add here. You just need to add response headers. 
and add a response header and just type content type and in the value just write application forward slash xml perfect i'm just going to click on save and uh, right now when i click on execute workflow it should be able to connect me to the wapi voice agent so i'm going to try it out right now i'm going to click on execute workflow and i'm going to call my voice agent so you can see that there is an error right now let me try to debug it okay so of course there's one issue that i've uh, there's one problem that we haven't set this to respond to webhook so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this respond value to respond to webhook node i'm just going to click on save and i'm going to repeat the steps click on execute workflow and i'm going to call my voice agent How's it going? I'm Alex from Small Group, and I'm excited to chat with you today. Hey, what's your name? My name is Alex. What type of business do you run in it? I'm looking for SEO blog writer automation. I understand. You're looking for SEO blog writer automation. What are some of the biggest challenges you're facing with that? Now, if you're someone who's willing to implement this for their own business, feel free to book, book a call with me and me and our team can help you build this entire WhatsApp voice AI agent for your own business. So make sure that if you're a business owner who wants to integrate AI into their own business, that you book a strategy call with us and we can help you automate most of the tasks in your business. If you like this entire video, make sure that you click on the like button as well as the subscribe button so that you never miss out a video on AI automation from our side. All right, I'll see you in the next one.